first, uh, going Zell, Core Zell, that is the safe thing to do, especially on a map like this, you know, it's two player, it's reverse ramp, uh, going for the cybernetic score before any Zells would be, would be quite risky. So I'm actually I'm actually thinking about PvP on this map. I think this might have might actually be the first PvP we've seen on this map. We've actually although we've seen a lot of PvP so far this season, um, I don't think we've seen one on Chain Reaction. And I mean immediately I'm gonna say that going for Reaver is probably quite good. Uh, it's close air distances. You have like you know your entire main is basically surrounded by like a uh, high ground and. Well, I mean, those are the two main reasons I can think of, but they're pretty good reasons, so I'm just gonna go with that. Reavers. Good stuff. Also, I like Reavers. Uh, having said that, having said that, uh, since it is a reverse ramp, a reverse ramp map, uh, a three or four gate goon build could also be quite effective. I mean, as we see on uh, like Outlier, which we've seen a lot of PVPs on because apparently it's a really Protoss map, um, we've seen a number of three or four gate goon builds. <laughs> Uh, just because it's pretty easy to apply pressure, and it's not easy to just uh, hold your hold the top of your ramp um, if you if you didn't make that many gateways, if you just went for like a one gate build or something. Anyway, it looks like we have a, a pylon being placed at the back door there for uh, for Stork. Uh, there was a mineral patch and a temple uh, that can be killed, so you can either mine out the mineral patch or break down the back temple to get a second entrance into your opponent's main. So Stork just gonna check that out, and it looks like Movie running up here with uh, with one dragoon gonna get warded away. Stork uh, looks like he's gone for just a one gate into expansion. Did he even he, he didn't get a robo, right? Looks like he actually just started a robo. Stork actually playing quite risky here. One gate expand and then a robo. Meanwhile, Movies played a very safe two gate robo build. Probably just going to get an observer. So, Movies basically played uh, kind of the, the the most I guess middle ground build. It's kind of it's kind of safe against everything, but it's not you know, it's not optimized to do anything, uh, or I guess I guess it kind of dies to a four gate ish. But you know, it's it's pretty much safe against against it's against whatever your opponent can do. Whereas Storks would just like die outright to four gate, <laughs> or even a three gate. I think he just die straight up. So that's a uh, that's quite a big risk here. Um, and I actually don't didn't see when exactly his scouting probe died. So I don't know if this is like a a well thought out calculated risk or if he's, he's actually just playing really risky. So anyway, I you know, since since movie's got no re yeah, he's gone for the observer rather than the super fast reaver. Uh, as I said, playing very safe. It is actually possible uh, for him to have just, you know, delayed the observer a little bit and gone for a very fast reaver, in which case perhaps he could do some nice damage to Stork, but that would make him vulnerable to DTs and he seems to be playing extremely safely. So he's gone for the Observer first, and I think that's going to give Stork a very nice advantage here in this game. Uh, I don't think Movie's going to be able to put on any pressure at this point. Yeah, he's just expanding himself, and Stork's, Stork's expansion I think is already done, is it? Yeah, it's already mining. It's, just, it's been mining for a little bit. As we can see, uh, about 50 minerals off of that patch already. So Stork is way, way, way ahead right now. He's got his own two gates up. He can uh, actually start adding on a few more gateways. Um, he's going to be absolutely fine. Movie just unfortunately suffering a bit of a build order loss. It's interesting actually. I mean, I've been hearing lately that uh, in fact PvP now is becoming what ZDZ used to be, where the build order, like the opening build order, actually just plays a huge role in determining the outcome of the game. I mean, previously ZDZ a lot of people thought was just like a you know like just a you know a build order guessing game, but uh, I mean recently you know pro go really Gosu players have shown that uh, with good micro you can really overcome those uh, slight build order disadvantages for good micro and good decision making. Anyway, uh, looks like Stork actually got a little bit too bold here in the middle of the map. He's moving out with his force, but he is outnumbered here. He's trying to micro down the Dragoons. Looks like he does a good job of that. But those two Zealots in the front are going to do some nice uh, tanking for Movie. But it looks like uh, Stork with some reinforcements is uh, going to force Movie to run away there. So uh, I, I think actually both players I think lost two Dragoons. So I think that was a more or less even exchange. Or I think no, Stork actually had lost uh, two Goons and a Zealot or something like that. Or maybe two Zealots actually. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I don't think the zealots are, are too too important in this in this early stage of the game anyway, so it's not it's not a big deal. So yeah, I was talking about ZVZ and how uh, that's no longer you know so build order dependent, but a lot of people uh, I've heard are saying that PVP is actually now the one that's become like really really build order dependent uh, and difficult to you know overcome these kind of build order differences, which I'm not 100% convinced yet. Uh, it definitely does play a big part as in all major matchups, but. In this case, though, it's actually a pretty, 
pretty severe disadvantage that that movie's starting off of. Um, you know, his faster robo does isn't really doing anything. Uh, the Citadel for Stork is just a touch behind movies. And looks like Stork's actually got his own two reavers at the front now. Uh, meanwhile, he did break down that uh, that warp gate, that neutral warp gate thing, uh, behind his or next to his natural. That's gonna allow him to. Uh, well, actually, in between his natural and the third base now, that means there's still a mineral patch and another temple. Um, but he's gonna, he can't just mine out that mineral patch and then, yeah, see, now you can see the mineral patch in the temple. He can just mine that out and, uh, and get easy access to his third base. But it looks like Movie wants to move out now. He doesn't have an observer in Stork's base. Let's see what's going on. And is he actually gonna go harass with the Reaver or just uh, use it to attack? Okay, it looks like he's leaving his army at home. So he's just gonna go do some harassment with the Reaver. And there is a nice cliff around the main, as I said earlier. So, uh, let's see how good Stork's reaction time is. It looks like, oh, there's no probes are being pulled. Okay, now they're being pulled and it looks like only one probe getting taken down and movie will retreat with the reaver uh, the goons have arrived to ward that guy away so not the greatest reaver shot ever um, but very nice reaction from store Anyway, it looks like uh, Templar Archives is almost done for Stork. It's, it's already finished for Movie, but Stork has an observer there seeing what's going on. It looks like Movie just now adding his third and fourth gateway, uh, since of course his, his, his expansion was much later. Stork's four gateways have already been up for a while here. Stork also getting a forge. I think that forge is uh, actually quite important. Um, as I said, oh wait, hold that thought! We have a Speed Reaver coming in for Stork. Now Stork is actually famous for his Speed Reaver, uh, or sorry, not Speed Reaver, Speed Shuttle uh, Reaver plays. He just runs in and suicides the Reaver, and it looks like the Movie's reaction is is too slow oh my god the scab it looks like it's gonna dud oh my god movies reaction time not perfect but the buggy scarabs just not killing the probes getting a little bit oh my god what oh why did he transfer them back why did he transfer the probes back there's reavers in the base oh my god movie movie what the heck what was that he what he saw it. there was a reaver, there's a reaver in his base, and he's just like, well, I guess I'll just send the probes back. Oh my god. He must have had, like, a whole control group of probes there. He, I'm pretty sure he selected a whole control group of probes, clicked them back to the main, and then now they're all dead. Oh my god, what was he thinking? <laughs> and look, look at this, the observer just showing the difference in saturation. Stork just has so, so many probes, so it looks like movie. He wants to return the favor here. Is he sneaking in here? Pro the probes are being pulled! Stork's not paying attention! Oh, Storm! Is there a second one? Storm! Oh, God, that was good. The first Storm was not perfect. Only two kills on the first High Templar, but the second one was very, very nice. Wow. Pro Massacre on both ends here. Oh man, I didn't... Okay, okay, so let me let me finish the thought. Let me finish what I was saying about Stork earlier. Uh, Stork actually uh, became became quite famous for basically getting a speed shuttle and then like just suiciding it into his opponent's base with two reavers and just killing as many probes as possible. And then all and that that basically kind of like forces his opponent into a semi all in attack. And then he just defends that and then like wins the game. So Stork actually used to do that quite often. It was quite fun to watch. Uh, I don't know if he still still uses that style, but as we saw, his reavers are still pretty good. <clears throat> so anyway, we have observers checking each other out. Oh, that guy's gonna get sniped. Um, I think wasn't. Hold on, I feel like I was making another point earlier. Can't remember. Anyway, Stork is taking his third base now, and he's got a he's got a nice army running around the map. Looks like he actually uh, made his Templars into an Archon rather than save them for Storm. Now, is that a Storm or another Reaver drop? He's going into the back of the natural. There's actually it looks like there's actually a little high ground pod that's gonna let him go in here, and looks like the Reavers are down. Are they gonna get a big Scarab off? Uh, oh, oh! How did they both hit? Oh my God, those were amazing Scarabs. I thought at best one of those would hit. I can't believe they actually both went off there. I think what happened was, uh, I'm pretty sure actually the, the first one went off and it cleared some of the probes and that allowed the second one to hit. I think if the first one didn't hit, the second one would have dudded as well because there were too many probes there. So that was actually very, very lucky of, uh, of Stork. <clears throat> Oh man, Stork doing amazing harassment, but it looks like a shuttle, oh, the shuttle's actually barely going to pass each other. Now this shuttle is also going to see the third base, but that's going to allow uh, that's gonna allow Stork to see the shuttle as well. 
And it looks like Movie doesn't have shuttle speed either, so that's slow shuttle just meandering along. Yeah, Stork's just gonna pull back some Dragoons and deal with that perfectly. Meanwhile, he's going into the main as well. Looks like, uh, oh, Movie actually left one High Templar on that high ground. And, oh, Stork's just gonna be annoying and kill that pylon in the back. So, I don't actually know if Stork doesn't pay attention. Ah, uh, two probes. Not the best there. But I don't, I don't know if Stork actually knows about that Templar. Oh my god, if Stork actually transfers to the third base, he could actually... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, whoa, Stork, Stork, be careful, bro, be careful, <laughs> whoa, okay, oh my god, because cause here's what's going to happen, because when Stork transfers, oh, he sees it, except he has nothing, oh, no, he does, <laughs> lol, okay, Stork saw it, but seriously, if, if Stork hadn't seen that, because when you transfer the probes, right, you click them to one patch, uh, and then they just like all stack up on one patch, and one storm will kill them all. It's not like an SE2 where you know if you click like you know a, a bunch of probes to one patch, they instantly fan out. Uh, in Brood War, they like actually stay stacked for quite a while, so uh, that would be insanely effective. So very very nice uh, deflection of that by Stork. So Stork is in a, in a fantastic position right now. His third base is up. Movie still on two bases. Uh, he's done a lot better pro harassment. It looks—I mean—he's got map control. Although that is a pretty big army for Movie as well. And I think he's got more high templar. He's probably got more storms in his army. Stork does have the uh, the two reavers. Yeah, the observer showing there's just uh, two templars in the army of Stork. He's opted for more archons uh, rather than templars, and uh, and he's gonna have the two reavers in the back supporting as well. So movie. Actually, Movie looks like he's got four High Templars, so if he can place perfect storms, he does have a chance in this fight, but he's really going to have to win it by a, a huge margin here, because his third base is just so, so slow compared to Stork's. And here we are going to have the big engagement. It looks like Stork's units are a bit more spread out. I think he has a better position, but the storm's going down everywhere. The Reavers doing their thing. It looks like Movie actually has two Reavers as well. And Stork actually has a lot of Zelts coming in from the back. They were not in perfect position. The Reavers will do very nicely against those. Do we have any more Storms? Why are there not more Storms? There's some more Storms on the back, Dragoons. It looks like it's very close, but the Storms and the Reavers of Movie are still surviving. It's just going to be so close. Stork has the better angle. He has the better arc, but it looks like Movie is going to break through here. His Reavers are still alive. Stork no longer has those support units. He has only Dragoons left, but actually, no, there is one Reaver. A Storm on the two Reavers. It's going to be an army trade. It is going to be an almost complete army trade, but that is hugely in favor of Stork, of Stork because of his extra base. He's going to be able to macro up so much more units now. It looks like he even has a bunch of cannons there at that third base to help defend. Uh, movie just walking the slow reaver over. Uh, those Elton Archon, I don't think it's worth uh, going after that base, otherwise the, the rest of the units of Stork will come in from behind and, and just clean that up. Yeah, he's going to engage a little bit, but look at this. Stork just flooding out the mass zealots. That's a very smart move. Um, zealots are the unit you want to reinforce with. And it looks like, oh, Stork actually just leading the way with a couple of zealots to try and uh, snipe that reaver and just uh, minimize the splash damage on the rest of his zealots. Very, very nice there. That actually reminds me of how, like a marine versus lurker micro where you run one or two marines in first and draw the lurker fire and then you send the rest of your marines in to kill it. That was almost uh, that was a very similar idea right there. Running in just a couple of zealots first to snipe that guy. Very, very nice uh, little, little micro trick by Stork. Anyway, it looks like uh, Movie is now moving into the natural of Stork. There is one Reaver there. It's going to get targeted down, but no. Plenty of Zealot reinforcements coming out. <clears throat> Yeah, the point I was trying to make earlier about Zealots is, you know, uh, basically it's because, first of all, they're, they, they, you know, they're the fastest unit to make out of the gateway, faster than Templars or uh, Dragoons, and also, since they have uh, leg speed, they're, they're extremely fast to reinforce. So, you know, in those big army engagements, you basically just want to spam Zealots as a reinforcing unit, and it looks like a movie is trying to do some damage here in the middle of the map, but Stork is coming out with overwhelming number of units. I don't actually know the gateway counts of these players, but I would assume that Stork has more... Uh, more gateways than his opponent. He's producing more units and he does have the extra base. So his macro advantage is really showing right here uh, in this uh, in this little <laughs> post post epic fight skirmishes. Um, also, it looks like the upgrades are 2-0 for Stork. Let me uh, actually keep an eye out on what movie's upgrades are. It looks like Stork's actually mined out in his main. Movie's actually not mined out yet, but that's just because he lost so many probes, uh, which is which is quite ironic. Uh, anyway, we have a, the slow shuttle of movie running around once again. I don't know if he's going to go for a storm drop or something, or if he's just going to pick up a couple more reavers. Anyway, it looks like a DT is out now for Stork. I don't know where that's headed. Perhaps uh, just to n deny another base or go and harass that base. Looks like Stork does have an observer at the third of movie uh, that's now that's now going up, so he does know about that. Meanwhile, a lot of cannons in good position for Stork. Now, it's interesting because you see his cannons actually sticking out a little bit from the base rather than just leaving them in the mineral line. It's actually a very good idea. Uh, 
in PvP to have cannons kind of like on the edge of the base rather than just in the mineral line. Because what that does is, uh, if a storm drop comes in, it forces the, the other guy to like unload as soon as possible rather than going like right next to your probe. So look at this, look at movie actually going into a nice position here on the left side, just swinging all the way around, avoiding the cannons, but still very nice pro, uh, pro pull by Stork, just sending him over to the fourth base, gonna save most of his probes. But yeah, you see, that's what I mean. If he had like a, you know, a cannon on the edge there as well, uh, movie would have to unload his tempo a little bit further away from the mineral line, and it just gives you a little bit more leeway when defending your probes. <clears throat> Anyway, it looks like Stork is going to attack this third base. A nice storm on the ramp. No, it looks like Movie did pull his forces back, but he's just going to sack this third Nexus. Uh, but, uh-oh, it looks like a few probes. Oh my god, what are the probes doing? It looks like he actually didn't mine out the, the back minerals or something, because the probes just freaked out, and they're going back there. Archon getting a big shot on those probes. Looks like the storm's going into the natural again, or rather the shuttle with High Templar. Is Stork paying attention? I don't know if he's paying attention. Show the mineral line, goddammit! Show the mineral line! No, don't show the fight! Show the mineral line! Ah, nobody cares! Oh, do they not have energy? Oh, okay, I guess the Observer is smarter than me. Oh well. So, Stork's army is going to the natural. Oh my god, it might actually not, not actually matter what happens with that storm draw because Stork is just busting through here and... I don't know what happened there, but there's a GG! Stork! Stork taking set number two! Very, very nice play. Movie getting taken out. Stork, my man. He doesn't even need glasses and he's still owning it up in Pro League. Ah, Stork my hero. Alright. So, let's go on to the next set. <clears throat>